mean, I'm kind of a normal guy, you know, nothing special. Uh, just a little bit of my background, I mean, you know, I have a little mix on my dad's side. My mom's side is um, pretty Malaysian, straight Chinese, nothing special. Just a little bit of a uh, mix in me, but, you know, I'm 23 year old, just normal guy plays golf. <laughs> Um, I started with my parents. My parents actually started golf um, maybe when I was six, seven. And um, like now, you know, I really started because of them because they were trying to pick up the game. And then now, suddenly I picked up and, you know, just kind of kind of, kind of snowballed because, you know, they started and then I tried and it just, just, it just became, you know, it became history for some reason. You know, it just came and this happened. And it's funny because I wasn't really interested in the game. Because I was, you know, I was playing soccer first and other sports, and you know, golf game, and I liked it ever since. Yeah. I think it was 132. <laughs> it was my first junior event, and then um, my dad carried it for me. And first time I played 18 holes, came back at like four, five, and we slept all the way till the next day at six, seven o'clock. I know we were so tired, we didn't have dinner. Uh, that's all I remembered. Um, but I remember it's 132 or 123, something like this. It's, it's pretty high. It was fun, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Tiger Woods has always been my hero. When I was growing up, Tiger Woods has always been my hero. Um, other than that, I don't really see anybody else because I've been growing up always Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods and you know, I always like the way he is, the way he wins, the way he plays, the way his mental attitude is, is everything about him is just he's, he was unstoppable. Yeah. It's impacted tremendously. You know, I was uh, I was uh, you know, I was a decent player before I got to the States, but you know, having the coach there and you know, meeting people and playing tournaments in the States has made me a, a stronger player overall. You know. um, but you know, it's still a, it's still a big, it's a big impact on my life because if I didn't go to the States, I don't think I was, a, I would be the player now. So you know, it's played a huge role in my life, and uh, you know, I've always my university in New Mexico, um, you know. It's always going to be part of my part of my home too, because you know I know the coach, I know some people there, and you know, we're all you know, like one big family up there too. So it's, I always go back there. And, you know, it's, it just feels like home also to me. Yeah. Obviously, recently the Hero India, that's you know second place there is a huge one. Um, I think getting getting my Asian tour card through ADT is another one. You know, I, I played hard for one year and you know, thankfully I managed to get it through the ADT. Uh, in the US, probably all my wins in the US, mainly the Western Refining, I want to say. That's where all the maybe top 30, 20 college guys play together. Uh, top 20 in the rankings. And you know, I won that twice out of my four years. So you know, it's uh, probably that. that. And then uh, winning the ADT as an amateur. I learned you're gonna be very patient as a pro. And, you know, you can't tend to push things because it's not easy out there. You know, all the players are good. You know, everybody, anybody can win the week, and you, know, you just gotta keep trying, keep practicing. And I think most importantly, you gotta keep really patient because you know our top ten is is you know a really good finish on Asian tour. And if you can keep you know, keep making the cut, keep finishing as high up, and who knows, you know, a win might just click. Sooner or later, you know, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, just keep playing, keep making cuts, as many cuts as I can, and trying to, you know, just improve for myself. Yeah. Obviously, I want to keep my card on the Asian tour, and hopefully get a couple of European tour starts. But you know, in long terms, obviously, I want to get on the PGA tour within you know, a couple of years, hopefully. You know, Get my base, make sure I'm you know ready to move on before I move on, and you know, hopefully it'll take me far. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
so of course <laughs> because uh i mean you know me and my dad we've worked since i turned pro and you know it's it's fun having him in the bag yes we have a couple of you know miscommunication you know sometimes we don't agree on things but yeah he lets me do my thing and lets me pick what i want uh, what i want to do and yes i am the boss on the course and off the course and it switches the other way <laughs> he's like being the boss So because you know he he knows how I how I think on the course he knows how I react when things are not right and you know we're working with a mental coach so he can kind of help me through that also and you know it's like uh, it's it's like one big team in a way yeah yes I am single. <laughs> <laughs>